Hello YouTubers, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of this wireless camera set from Sony. These are the models ECM W2BT. I guess BT stands for Bluetooth. So here is the box. And this unit ran about approximately $229 if I'm not mistaken. I will show you the receipt. So it does read uh, $229. So I guess uh, including taxes. So as you can see, this came out this this year. No, last year, if I'm not mistaken. They were announced last year, but uh, they were just released. And I had been waiting on the B&H B &H website. And I didn't know if I did make a reference in previous videos about getting this unit and being on hold because they had not been released yet. And also that... Um, I had a like a discrepancy. I didn't know for which ones to go because I was looking into getting the the Rode Wireless 2, the the Wireless Go 2 that also came out just recently. They came out along with this set, and uh, I mean everybody's talking about them. And as you know, Rode is like a standard industry, and um, Everybody's getting those, including journalists, uh, content creators, YouTubers, and whenever they're filming their videos, you see them with um, Rode Wireless instead of other other brands. But the reason why I decided to go for this, this set of Sony is because um, I have a Sony camcorder, and I have done an unboxing video on this camera as well. So I have an FD, FDR AX53, and what happens with Sony cameras is that they use a proprietary connector. It's called the MI shoe. So if I was to get a Rode wireless instead of these ones, so I would have had to put an extra accessory, such as running a, after connecting the, the mic, the mount to this, um, to the adapter here, I would have had to run a line, a mic line into here. But Sony uses this proprietary connector. So if you see this little, this little round bottom here, so, and some connectors that are right below the, uh, the latch, where it latches in place. So it has like some interface there that when you connect one of these devices that are compatible with the Sony MI uh, hot shoe, they automatically transfer audio they give charge to the device and they do plenty of other things combined so you don't need to you know have it uh have it charging separately or having to provide the audio separately so that was one of the things that caught my attention and since i plan to stay with this camcorder with this uh, the ftr ax53 i i use it um that's like my primary uh, content creation and blogging camera so uh, you know I uh, that's the reason why I decided to go with this unit instead and uh, compared to the to the Rode Wireless Go they pretty much have the same specifications the batteries lost between seven seven hours well on the Sony one it lasts more approximately nine hours because they get assistance from the hot shoe from the battery pack so once I connect it here, the the uh, mount is going to get assistance from the main battery. So I don't have to worry about the battery running out. On the road, I got to make sure that it's fully charged if I'm going to go on a, you know, a content creation uh, adventure. So I have to make sure that everything, both things are charged. So these are the items that come with the unit. Little sleeve back. This is the unit itself. Very small. Let me see if I can get a, like a measuring. Uh, this is in inches and centimeters. Here are both in inches and centimeters. So length, you can see there is approximately 6.7 centimeters. And you have another measurement there. So, and for comparison, this is what the, you know, the camcorder. Well, the camcorder is approximately 17 centimeters in length with the battery attached and that's the size of the device so it fits in the hand it fits in the hand and i would assume that uh it's very ergonomically uh, 
not that I'm gonna be grabbing it or anything like that, but um, it's a very small device, especially the piece that is gonna go in the uh, in the neck part, neck piece. So it uses micro USB, a micro USB connector, I guess, for charging the um, the transmitter because the the receiver, I guess, the receiver, you know, the part that goes into the the uh, the hot shield, gets a charge assistance from the main battery but not the transmitter, so you gotta make sure the transmitter is fully charged. I guess I will do a more in-depth in uh, review later on, at a later time, uh, so I can, you know, uh, give more clarification on that, or you can just watch other YouTube videos, I would assume. So this is the charger that it comes with. It does come with a connection, a mic jack connection cable, so, not that I'm gonna need it because I do have a, a Sony camera that uses a, the proprietary MI uh, interface, so I'm not gonna need this cable. So I can just put this away. There is the, um, the little cushion cat, uh, whatever they call it, you know, so for the wind, wind muffler uh, thing. So I would assume this goes on the uh, transmitter. So let me try to take it apart. Oh, nice. Look at that. So this is where the interface is. This is the interface for the hot shoe. So you can see there are those little connecting cables. That's gonna, the Sony camcorder is gonna give, is gonna give it audio power and any other, you know, available, I guess, um, uh, features that the mic system has. And I did read on the, part of the features and specifications that they do offer, they do charge by themselves as well. You have to charge them, but the battery only lasts about three hours or so, as opposed to nine hours when it's combined with a Sony camera system that has the MI shoe, like in my case. So if you don't have a, I would advise if you don't have a Sony camera system, this wouldn't be the type of, you know, mic device that you wanna get. You might want to go for the wireless wireless go to because the wireless go to the batteries can last up to seven hours so this wouldn't be the type of devices so if you're using like canons fujitsu's or any other brand that does not use the the um uh, sony proprietary hot shoe don't i wouldn't advise this so this is only in cases where you are using like sony systems such as the rx100 the zv1 the cam the cam type of camcorder that I have, and I can just read off the back uh, some of the the features that it has here. I mean, the um, the system it again is the ECM W two BT. It has the three point five audio uh, input, but I don't need to connect it. I don't need to connect it because I have the MI interface. It uses a Qualcomm. APX, it reads on the, on the website, low latency Bluetooth codes. The range is, the range is here, approximately 200 meters range, which is the same range that the Go Wireless, the Rode Wireless 2 have. So they're on the same, they're on, on pair. They're on par with the same, you know, uh, uh, as far as specifications. So here I'm gonna put it on the hot shoe and I don't have the I don't have it activated or or charged or anything like that because it's a quick unboxing video, but um, I just want to give you like an an idea of what uh you know what it looks on with the system once set up, and from now on this is gonna be my I mean when I have to do like a a more in depth review that requires high quality audio, I'm gonna be using my you know my um, my mic system. So this is what I'm gonna be using. I've been waiting for this for so long. Uh, you have no idea. Um, I went through a lot of like, you know, uh, decision making, um, 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 you know, I just like, um, I did a lot of, I did a lot of research as well. So in the end, um, I was gonna get a Rode Wireless 2. I mean, uh, they offer a great deal for $299. They even offer two transmitters instead of one on the Sony system. But um, the thing with Rode is that 
since I have a Sony camera and Sony came out with their own mic system, I decided to go for Sony because uh, they have their own proprietary MI shoe. I mean, I wish the Rode came out with like an adapter that would be compatible with the MI interface for Sony, then I would have gotten it, but um, not in this case. So this is gonna be my, you know, my main uh, microphone unit that I'm gonna be using. And it's very simple, it's just plug and play. It it transfers the um, it transfers the um, you know the the audio the transmitter into the the receiver. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it does have a built-in mic like as a, a uh, like as a backup. I would assume as a backup, as a fail-safe. So in case that you lose audio reception or whatever, it'll still get the the um, audio recorded here and on the transmitter itself, just like the road the road wireless go to offer a similar feature so it's packed of uh, features uh, it just came out recently and i had been waiting like i said i had been waiting for this unit to be uh, to be finally uh released to the public and and uh it was on hold because it had not been available since it was announced but i got it about what was it about three days ago i just haven't been have haven't had a chance to do the unboxing video. So again, um, this has been a quick unboxing, uh, a quick unboxing review of the uh, Sony microphone system model ECM W2, ECM W2 BT, which stands for Bluetooth. Thank you again, YouTubers.